Hi everyone, today I want to share with you guys in this video how to obtain this watercolor effect using different materials. I hope you guys like it. On my practice hand, I already have a set done with white acrylic and then I just clean it with Synergy White to make sure the top is very clean. Now I'm showing you all the materials that I'm going to be using and for the first nail I'm going to be using Sharpies. As you can see I'm going to start painting the nail using orange Sharpie. If you guys don't have this brand you guys can use any other brand. And also um, another tip, if you guys don't want to paint the nail directly with Sharpie you guys can use a glass container, paint the uh, bottom of the glass container and then drop some alcohol, use your brush and you guys can um, just apply it to the nail and you guys are going to have the same effect. Also if you guys want, there's um, this alcohol ink that they sell at Michaels and this is pretty much going to do the same thing that I'm showing you um, right now in the video. It's a little bit more pricey but you guys can give it a try too. As you can see, I'm using four colors to paint the nail and what I'm doing is just filling all those white spaces. Um, you guys can use as many colors as you want or actually just one. And this is just an idea on how to obtain this watercolor effect using this Sharpies. After we paint the entire nail, I'm going to grab a glass container and then I'm going to pour some alcohol. Then I'm going to dip my brush and then I'm going to brush the nail. You guys can dab also. The more alcohol you guys get, um, the faster the pigment of the color it's going to dissolve. So it's going to give us this watercolor effect. If you guys think you guys are dissolving one color more than the other one, you guys can go back and paint more, dissolve. It's just depending on what you guys like or what you guys want to create. You guys can also make flowers or any other design and do the same process. Dissolve the design with alcohol and you guys are going to have this watercolor effect. So this is how the first nail looks. Now for the second nail, I'm going to be using these nail polishes from Sally Hansen. These are metallic nail polishes. Now I'm going to start making these wavy lines and we're going to be doing the same process pretty much filling all those white spaces. For this one, I'm going to be using four colors as well. And you guys don't have to use or do the same design. You guys can create anything. And also you guys can use any other type of polishes. Or you guys can mix the nail polishes. You guys can um, mix matte with regular ones, holographic. And also we can do the same effect using gel. Now after we're done polishing the nail, I'm going to use the same container and the same brush, but instead of using alcohol, we're going to be using acetone. Now for this one, I do not recommend you guys to brush the nail. It's better if we just dab the entire nail because we don't want to remove the entire nail polish. The only thing we want is just to obtain this watercolor effect. So just keep on dabbing. It doesn't really take a lot of time since we're using acetone. As you can see, um, if you think you, get, you guys are getting too much of that nail polish, just clean your brush with um, any towel and then go back, use a little bit more acetone. But the effect, it's really nice. Actually, by using this metallic nail polishes, we get this foil paper effect. It's worth to try it. Now for the third nail, we're going to be using acrylic paint. And also for this one, I'm going to be using four colors. And then on this foam plate, I'm going to be um, applying four colors. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to apply some water to make this acrylic paint more watery. We want this consistency to be very, very watery because when we're going to apply it to the nail, um, we want to get this watercolor effect. If we just leave the acrylic paint by itself, it's going to be too thick and we're not going to get um, this effect. After I dissolve all the colors with water, I'm going to apply the first color. And if you guys think you guys are getting too much of this paint, don't worry. Clean your brush, go back, and the brush is going to absorb the extra paint. We're going to be doing 
um, the same thing with the four colors um, same thing like I told you guys before you guys don't have to follow the same pattern this is just an idea so you guys can create roses or anything that you guys have in mind and this is how this watercolor effect looks with acrylic paint it looks really nice and also if you don't want to use a white background you guys can use glitter you guys can use any other color like I said this is just an idea and I did it white just for you guys to see more clearly how to obtain this watercolor effect now for the last nail I am going to be using the watercolor uh, paint and this is a palette that I bought at Michaels it was very inexpensive and it's really nice now what I did is I just moist um, the color with water and I just grabbed the paint and I start painting the nail. For this one I did have an idea so I wanted to do a butterfly so I'm just doing two oval um, shapes by the edge and as you can see I grabbed a lot of that paint but after I was done painting I went back, um, cleaned my brush and then I went back to, for that brush to absorb all the extra paint. Now for this one, I'm only going to be using two colors. Um, to do the oval shapes, I just use the blue color. And then to um, paint the entire nail, I'm going to be using yellow on the entire nail. As you can see, the texture of this watercolor, it's really nice. I'm also going to be making a video on how to use um, these watercolors correctly and how can we mix them with gel. It's going to be a very interesting video. Now with this one, after I was done painting and that the paint was dry, I went with this um, nail polish striper and what I started doing, it was a butterfly. Something very simple, but it was just for you guys to have the idea of the many things that we can do um, with this type of background or also we can create our own designs. Now where I paint the Sharpies, I'm just doing this um, swirly uh, shapes nothing too fancy and then for the other one I apply some foil paper on some of the parts where I paint the orange um, color after that I grab some of that acrylic paint in purple color with the thick consistency now for this one I wanted to kind of make these lines pretending to paint a rose just to show you guys that we can create anything on top of this um, watercolor effect. Now after we're done with our designs, we're going to wait for all the paint to be very dry and then I'm going to pass a coat of top coat or you guys can use um, UV gel. Now remember, if we use acrylic paint and it's very thick, we're going to have the problem that our design is going to crack. So we don't want to do this. We can use construction gel and then cure it on the lamp this is going to have a better result i hope you guys like this video i hope it helps and thank you so much for watching my videos i want to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos i'll see you until next time